Welcome back to Boo Cat and Bedroom <laughs> Cow, not Let's Play, but no, on no. the road. We're in the car. Yeah. So they, uh, we got a special invite to go play with tigers. Today. Literally tigers, tigers, tilligers, which are tigers and ligers, and lilligers, which is lions and ligers. And I'm pretty pumped. Now the difference between a tiger and a, a lion, and a lion and a tiger. I don't really understand, but... Well, tigers and lions are completely different animals. Well, yeah, but if you mix one with the other and then back Well, it again, depends on the gender of the tiger and the gender of the lion as to what animal... I certainly have. need a diagram, and then I will... I uh, need, like, a flow chart. Yeah. So, everybody at home, tell your friends, if you want more of these, they should get them. Let us know. Let us know. There's places you can tell us. You can tell us on Twitter at BCBC Let's Play. You can tell us on Facebook at Boo Space Cat and Bedroom Cow. You can tell us on Meetomo if you want to answer a question or comment on an answer, I guess. Um, I'm Boo Cat. He's Bedroom Cow. And you can also tell us in the YouTube comments down there below. Yeah. If you want us to go on the road more often and take our phones with us, because we're ha only we have them anyway, but to record, we're happy to do that. So we are headed to place called wildlife in need it's in indiana um right outside louisville kentucky so it's a couple hours away from our house but um totally worth it there may be sloths if they're sloths i might not be able to restrain myself from keeping one because they have hooks little hooks little hook hands <laughs> i am more excited about the tigers and the sloths although sloths are a close second like Normally, I would get out of bed easily just to go visit a monkey, and there's, and there's mon monkeys. Monkeys are like way down on the list because I've hung out with monkeys before. That's true. This is sloths and tigers and tiger and a barbacoa, hybrids. Barbacoa, which is a bear cat, not barbacoa. That's the name of the steak at Chipotle. <laughs> <laughs> binturong. It's binturong. That's what it is. Barbacoa. <laughs> <laughs> they, uh, yeah, so certainly send us any invites to any places. Anything that you want us to go to with animals or with video games or with things. I mean, it doesn't really matter. We'll, yeah, we'll go. We'll go. We'll go. That's we'll fun. entertain you as best as we possibly can. I don't know if that's. I, I don't know. We're not. We're, we're pretty funny. We're pumped about this thing, if you can't tell. Whee! So excited. So we're in line, we're waiting for tigers. It's gonna happen in a minute. Yeah. 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 This is, it's time. It's time. We got that. That means we're in in line to get tigers. And there's really not a whole lot to look around at. We got some kind of lizard thing over there. Snake with feet. It looks like a snake with feet. Yeah. So they uh that lady's got, got, got a jar of milk, maybe, milk. So, in line, very pumped. Hi, Internet. Hi, Internet. We're on our way back home. We are. I'm driving now, so. Yeah, that's how you can tell we're on the way back home. I don't know how that makes any sense. Less interaction from boo cats, because boo cats need to make sure we don't die. So don't die, boo. Hey, wait a minute. Don't kill me, boo. Let's just do a recap of what we did today. Oh, 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 oh shit! So we started off at home. We started driving, right? And we went to uh, go play with tigers. At Wildlife in Need in Charlestown, Indiana. So, when we first show up, we're a little bit early. We meet this really nice man. This really nice man, he's like, uh, go ahead and park, you know, nice and close to that other car. And, and then he just like he leads us around. He's like, have you been here before? And we said, no. And he's like, well, let me give you a personal tour. And he takes us to every little place that there's a tiger, a orange tabby tiger. Which apparently are super duper rare. There's they, none left in the wild. Yeah, there's only 90 in captivity or something like that. Yeah, and they have two of them at this place that we went to today, which is pretty cool. Um, one was named like Mahindra or Mohinder or Najira. Or I don't remember what her name was, but she was pretty. Like she had a really cute little face. She's very light colored. We didn't get a good picture of her. Yeah, she was in her little, her little house. And then right next to her was a big ass lion. Male lion. It was best friends with a dog since he was born. They were they're like best friends forever. And this dog's just like, I don't give a shit that you're a lion. We're buddies. I'm gonna yeah. cuddle next to you. I'm gonna fuck with your face. I'm gonna come over and I'm gonna sniff your mane. And you're gonna be okay with it. Because we're buddies. 
Yeah. Essentially. They just hang and out. that lion did not look nearly as big as that, as that dog until he stood up. And then it's like, oh my God, that's a giant animal. Yeah, they're really big. And we were only like, I don't know. Five feet? Five feet, maybe. Like There was like a tiny, a very rickety fence. And then they're fencing in between us and a real lion. Yeah. Like, if, if both people and lions were trying to get, touch each other, that would be an easy thing to do. Absolutely. So then we got a little access to a little room. Well, first there were birds. Oh, yeah, birds. Lots and, of and, birds. They were yelling at me. They were making fun of me. They were dancing. Whatever. Birds are not. And, and then there were some tor- tortoi, tortoises. Tortoises. They Tort- needed to be oiled. Did you know that tortoises need to be covered in olive oil? Who knew? Did it, was it olive oil? Yeah, yeah it was olive said. oil. Yeah. Yeah. They get covered, their shells get covered in olive oil. I guess they crack if they're not oiled. Why did, where do they get olives to rub on their shells in the wild? Well, I guess they're just not out. They, they go underwater or they go in shade and work people and work dicks and then they mount the sun. I don't know that, that those types of tortoises go in water. Well, they do something to get moisturized. I don't know. That's all I'm saying moisture that happens. Maybe there's lots of naturally, natural olive trees that run. I'm kidding, of course. Um, then we went and got access to this little room. It was an extra donation, but totally worth it. Um, that in there, there was a bench, two binturongs, which are bear cats. Yep, you would call that a bear cat. That smell like buttered popcorn. Did you know that bear cats smell like popcorn? Our Cincinnati fans might, but... Yeah, anybody that's outside Cincinnati may not know that bear cats smell like popcorn. And they're not wrong. I, could, I was close enough to these two bear cats to tell you firsthand that's an accurate sentence. They really do smell like popcorn. Oh, I'm so pumped about this. Um, so very, very sweet. There's a little boy. And he was just all climbing on the top. This is a boy bear cat, by the way, not a boy person. Um, just climbing on the top of his little cage, just kind of doing his thing, being adorable. And the, the female, who was fully grown and older, she just looked so wise. I just wanted to ask her questions, and she'd be like my magic eight ball, and she gives me answers to everything. Like, I wanted her to give me life advice. Boo was really into the bear cats. I didn't expect to be, though. See, I expected to not give a shit about these bear cats, but they were so cute. Like, really, really, really cute. So next to them were two fennec foxes, which, Lexi, your favorite animal! Did you send her a text I did. Them? Okay. I did. They, uh... Sorry, that was just personal right there. But my best um, friend, it's her favorite animal. Yeah. Then um, there was a nineteen-year-old bobcat. Yeah, a really old bobcat, senior bobcat. And he was just chill. His name was Tucker. He was pretty cool. He was just like what? He looked tuckered out. He did. He did. Yeah. So there were supposedly armadillos next to him underneath the blanket, but I'm pretty sure that was just a blanket that they were selling as armadillos. Um, I didn't see any armadillos. I don't know this. There were no armadillos. Um, There's a blanket. It was a blanket, and I'm. There was food in the bowl, so there may have been something there, but it, it, they never came out. The food did not change while we were there. Right. So they Neither were did still, the blanket. Neither did the blanket. Um, next to that were some black and white lemurs. That yeah. Pretty they're, cool. They're pretty cool looking little things. They're a little loud. They got little hands. Little, little hands. Yeah, lemurs are great. Um, I like your little face with this being sideways. Yeah, they're, they're pretty cool. Your name is Pepe Le Pew. Pepe Le Pew. <laughs> and whatever the girl's name was that he was always chasing. Oh. Um, I'm not sure she was a cat. She, she was, was a cat. She was definitely a cat. Hi. But... <laughs> then came the tiger extravaganza. The show. The, the show. The main which is, event. Which is, starts off, you know, a little slow. With a monkey. A little teeny tiny baby monkey in a diaper that the guy just throws at audience members and they yes. either expected to catch and or they he sits on their heads yep hi nice <laughs> <laughs> you got a monkey on your head <laughs> was it the best thing ever boo it's pretty great after the monkey came a little baby do you call it a piglet when it's a red river hog is it a hoglet I don't know, but she was adorable. Yeah. So tiny, a four-week-old Red River hog, and they definitely look still like Red River hogs. They do. If, if you want to look one up, they. It, like, and it was interesting. Like when you touched her, she was this mixture of softness and like bristle. 
so it was like she had rows of steel wool on her back and uh, on like a regular animal body. It was very, very strange. Right. Um, but she likes ankles. She likes ankles a lot. All so she does is go around and she takes... Nuzzles at ankles. Like in a very forceful like, hey! 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 <laughs> hey! <laughs> Which I thought meant she wanted to get picked up. But then they picked her up and she wanted none of that. She did not want to be picked up. She also really likes the next... No, no, not next. Next was a red fox. Did you know that red foxes are black? Or at least some of them are black? Because we saw a black red fox today and I'm real confused. Yeah. But he was okay. He was a little scared. Like, he came over... The guy sat him down right in front of us, and we all kind of reached for him, and he was like, nope, nope, too much, too much! I'm sorry. <laughs> too much. Too much. Over the line. <laughs> She's like, you scared him, boo. It wasn't me. So then, the wolves came out. They were baby wolves. Uh, little wolflets. Wolflets. Um, pups. pups, maybe? Is that what they're called? I think they said pups. Um, and mainly black, and then there was one that was like traditional wolf color, and, um... He was adorable. The wolf really adorable. Pup. And that Red River Hog is like in love with those wolf puppies. Yeah. Like, Trying all to about fight them. them. Like, I'm she's gonna like, play with you. Why would you? And I'm like, I don't want to do that. And she's like, I don't care. Nudge, 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 nudge. Hey! Hey! Then everybody went away. Everybody went back in their little, their little spot. And out came the main event. The main event. The Bulldogs. The Bulldogs! Yay! They, the, they, they were three, I don't know, were they a year old? Five. Uh, they looked full grown, but not old. And they just came running out and just pil piling into people, just yes. plowing down into I, people. There was one that was deaf. Her name is Judy. And she very much wanted to be in my face. Just full blown, just full bulldog all the time in the face with the kisses and the terrible smelling of the wrinkles and the body and just I need to be with you and then he got all the rest of them oh they they double teamed me at one point we're just boosh. and then there was tigers and that was our day yeah that was our day <laughs> <laughs> the tigers were incredible right so there's five tigers um there's three boys two girls no three girls two boys I'm sorry there's five total one white one, four orange, like Bengal colored. Two and two with the Bengals, and the girl was a, the the white one was a girl. And they came out, and they really didn't want anything to do with us because they were hungry. So they just kept on. They were yelling. Meow! 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 Somebody wants lunch. Somebody wants lunch. You sound like my kitties when I haven't fed them in the morning. Hi. <laughs> kind of like your cat. Yeah. Stupid Melody. <laughs> stupid one eye. And her stupid teeth missing. And her yelling about stuff all the damn time. So they're just yelling for food. Yep, so then they get food. And did you know that you have to burp baby tigers? For real, you have to burp them. Or otherwise I guess they throw up. I don't, I don't know what happens. But they were burping them. And then, this guy, this fucking guy, it's a tiger that crawls up in his lap and falls the fuck asleep. Falls I'm, asleep. I'm attractive to tigers. He's a tiger tamer. It's ridiculous. And maybe about five minutes later, he gets a fucking second one that <laughs> does the exact same thing and cuddles with the first one. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? There's more people in this room that need tigers. This guy's got fucking two I'm of them. I'm totally hogging the Fall tigers. Fall asleep. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Hi, You are far less pointy than a Rottweiler. <laughs> I can deal with you guys. Yeah, come on in. <laughs> yeah. Nice. I feel like, like I'm hogging them, but I'm not about to give them up. <laughs> I'll pet them then. Uh oh, incoming. You got little faces. Hey there. There's his older brother. Grab his face, bud. Are you, are you leaving? Oh. Alright, everyone. Wow. Hi. What are you looking at? There's a big live right? Look at your tail. <laughs> You're gonna have a kid. <laughs> You're gonna have a Fernil's tail, aren't you, buddy? 
You're gonna have a for reals tail. I've seen you seen your can. So then the guy brings out what was it, a lilliger? A lilliger. So that's a a liger mixed with a lion. Yes. Right. So it's primarily lion. Seventy-five percent lion. Twenty-five percent tiger. And apparently they get gigantic. Like eleven feet tall when they're on their hind legs. Did you say fifteen hundred pounds? A thousand to fifteen hundred pounds. Oh, hi. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. oh no. Well, that happened. <laughs> that was a lie liger that just <laughs> trampled the camera. So, you need to tell your friends, your neighbors, your loved ones, your acquaintances, your co-workers, everybody that you've ever met in your life, including the lady in the orange juice aisle that you decide to be friends with, or the guy that just randomly runs up to you in the clearance section at Kroger and decides to start talking to you. Tell them about the YouTube channel. Tell them about us. And tell them to click subscribe. Boom. I don't really know where that's going to go in here, so I'll make this like an angle so you can subscribe. Yeah. And for on mobile, it's down there. Down there. Um, we are on Twitter at BCBC Let's Play. We're on Facebook at Food Town and Bedroom Cow. We are on Meetomo, where I am sure to take another picture and post it. And we are also, you can reach us on YouTube comments, which are down there below the description. She's the race car driver of social media. That's what I just decided because she was changing lanes while <laughs> yeah. getting you guys to the appropriate social media place. Yep, and didn't kill us. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Bye. Everybody's asleep. Don't push on her. Have a gentle with him. He's just a baby. Oh, that was being vocal again. He's just chilling. Turn the <laughs> My guy. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're like, hey, are you gonna leave or are you gonna sniff the ear? You got your your face and your brother's ear. Oh, nice. Is that itchy? Here, let me rub it for you. <laughs> I like your shoulders. <laughs> what the hell are you, a damn tiger hoe? He's a tiger tamer. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Did you a little bit of I went with this guy. It's not okay. <laughs> not okay. You probably really want us to beat the crap out of you more than anybody in this room. Yes, please. <laughs> I'm so excited. I just can't hide it. I'm about to lose control and I think I like it. Passing a semi truck. Woo!